Hello there. So this is going to be a walkthrough video and demo of the formidable forms and simply schedule appointments integration. So here is the homepage for our demo. Um, it's supposed to imitate like a design agency, like a web development agency. Um, and so in our demo form, it is sort of like an intake form or like one where someone is barely getting in touch or where someone wants to speak with someone they previously got in touch with. It's a way to schedule a consultation or with, to speak with somebody on the team. This is where I'm going to put this video here in this little setup uh, section, but let me walk you through how I set this up really quick. So here on my dashboard, I have the formidable forms tab, and then I have the appointments tab for simply schedule appointments. First, let me walk you through the simply schedule appointment setup part, and then we'll move over to the formidable forms. So. This is the Simply Schedule Appointments dashboard. I have a set of appointment types that represents all the booking calendars I have. I have a virtual consultation call, in-person consultation, and then I have the individual calendars where you can speak with the team members. Really quick uh, note here, my team members are set up through the team booking feature. I have a profile for Jerry and I have a profile for Nancy. To set one up, I would just enter their email and then it prompts me to enter their name. We have other permissions here as well. You can connect it to a WordPress user. You can give them um, custom working hours and then a custom web meeting URL. If they are connected through WordPress, then they also have the option to set custom blackout dates and also sync to their Google Calendar. Alrighty, so let's go back to the appointment types. And so each one of these represents a booking calendar. So I'll give you a really quick um, overview of what it looks like inside the settings. We have a basics tab. This is where you can set the duration. You can set whether you want people to see it in a weekly view or in a monthly view here. Um, and then of course the name. Then this is the availability. Um, this is where you can choose the hours or the time slots that you're available for this specific booking calendar. And then here we have the team members. Um, this is not really associated with any team members, but we can make it so that um, it can assign to either Jerry or Nancy. Anyone who's available can take on this virtual consultation call. Um, we have capacity. This is if you want to take on more than one appointment at a time. We have more scheduling options to uh, narrow down the rules of the booking calendar. For example, if you need more than a day, day's notice for someone to book, then you can change it here or you can limit the number of these that you can book in a single day. Um, this is for web meetings. You can set custom um, web meeting URL use a team member's URL, um, and then if you integrate with Zoom or WebEx or Google Meet through the plugin, you will see those options here as well. Um, customer information. Since we're using formidable forms, we don't need to set this up here. And then we have the notifications. So all of these are tied to um, this appointment type. But really quick note, I do have these turned off just for the demo sake. Um, and then really quick overview of these individual ones. So for these ones, I've only tied it to one specific team member. So anytime Jerry is open and available for an appointment, then it'll assign to him. And so that's pretty much all the setup associated with Simply Schedule Appointments. In this specific case, I've had to set up the team member feature and the appointment types. Uh, now, if you're setting this up for yourself, then you would also need to go through and edit the notifications if you need to, edit some blackout dates. So like if you, um, are going out on vacation on a certain day, you can set it here. You can also um, set some styles and these do show up on formidable forms. Um, also general settings where you can enter your email and business name. Um, there's the advanced scheduling options, which I should probably turn on this, this one right here. Um, this is so that each appointment type or each booking calendar can have its own unique availability. Right now they're dependent on each other by default, um, when you install the plugin, they're all dependent on each other. So if um, Jerry gets booked at 9 a.m., it'll also block out Nancy on this calendar. So this is why I need to turn this one on here. And then we also have the advanced scheduling options, um, which just adds a couple more settings in the appointment type editor. So for example, now I have this availability window and I have a booking window and then advance setting. And like I said, we have a couple other integrations here like Google, Zoom, WebEx. These are all included in the premium editions of the plugin. 
And so depending on which one you buy, it'll unlock and you can toggle it on and continue the setup. Anyway, now we can go through the formidable form setup. So here in formidable, I have a contact us form set up. And here it's really simple at the top. We have the name and the email. We need these. These are required for simply schedule appointments to work properly. Um, and these automatically get passed over to simply schedule appointments. Um, and then here I've set up three radio buttons or radio fields. Um, they all use conditional logic. So if you select book a consultation, it'll make this one appear conditionally. And then this one will appear if you select speak with someone on the team. And then I've added in one appointment field for each calendar that I have and for each one that I want to display. And so once you have a premium edition of Simply Schedule Appointments installed, then this little appointment field comes up and you can add it. And here by default, it'll add in the whole entire list of appointment types, or you could select the appointment field and then edit it from here as well. So you can select an individual one too, which is what I've done in the ones above. But the reason I add four of them instead of just one is because I'm also going to conditionally show these depending on what radio buttons they select up here. If they select speak with somebody on the team and then they select Nancy, I want them to see only Nancy's calendar and from here select the time and date. And so that's pretty much all I've done. And so let's test it out. So now if we go back to the homepage where we started, we can fill this out really quick. And so now if I select speak with someone on the team, select Nancy, now we'll see Nancy's calendar. And then I'm going to submit it. So now I've submitted the formidable form successfully. Um, let's go look at the entry in formidable, and then we'll see the entry in simply schedule appointments. So when we look at the entry, we have here the day and time for the appointment, June 16th at 10 a.m. And then we can also view this in simply schedule appointments. So this is the appointment details page and all the fields get passed over. And then you can also select this little option here to take you back to that entry. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like in the appointments tab. So this is Mary's appointment. Um, and as you can see here, it's booked with speak with Nancy with Nancy. So a little repetitive there, but it pretty much just tells you the name of the booking calendar they they used and then the name of the team member assigned. And so that's pretty much it. Um, of course, if you have any questions, please send us an email. Um, and I hope this demo was helpful. Feel free to book as many appointments as you want to just play around with it. Um, thanks.